Yo, 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 what is up, guys? It is the man in the can. It is Super Piggy Man here today, and I will be talking about the zombie storyline. Now, when I was playing this game, I didn't think much of the ending as it didn't really add up to the three hours it really took to do the hardcore Easter egg. But the clip I have is the regular one, well, because my dumbass didn't save the other one. But we do know the backstory to our characters, and well, one is the main pusher behind this, and that is Mary. See, if you don't know Mary's backstory, let me sum it up for you. She's a woman that is the best at getting back lost treasure. She's pretty much like a treasure hunter. But this time, she wasn't looking for treasure. She was looking for her brother. This is why she accepted the job to originally go with our other three protagonists. Or antagonists. We don't really know their side yet. Um, and she only accepted the job because there was clues that led her there. And she wanted to go because she wouldn't have gotten access to that certain city if she wouldn't have gone with them. And now, look carefully at the ending clip. And this will start proving my point that that is her brother, in fact. Alright. Do it! <laughs> <laughs> Let's fucking go! Let's fucking go! Let's fucking go! Let's fucking go! Oh my god! Send it to Angel! Send it to Angel! The man in the fucking can! The man in the can! The man in the fucking, the fucking can, dude! Cut you and everything! Oh my god! <laughs> Two fucking people! Dude, dude what if there's hard. another part after this? Oh my god! Oh. That's beautiful! I'm sending it, I'm sending it. Dude, I'm gonna save this and post it to YouTube. Honestly, oh, like when when your friends quit on you. <laughs> when your friend So if you would excuse the loud audio of me, my friend, I did have the other one like I said. But if you look closely, you see that she's the only one on the ground for the longest period of time. Um and she is also crying, if you couldn't tell by the clip. Um just you know, go back and see it like better. I guess and um, and you can tell it's not sweat because all the other characters you can't see a complexion of sweat on their face and pretty sure it was probably pretty hot but they weren't sweating and a couple seconds after getting the hilt and I didn't really get to get that clip because you know again I didn't save it um, you hear Mary expli explicitly say I'm sorry I was too late brother now this proves the whole thing but after that zeppelin gets blown out of the sky, you see the cam focus on the characters and then they have a full two seconds of her face drenched in tears and now you'd be like, Piggy, that is baloney. Just because she, she gets two seconds doesn't mean sh she's important. And to that, I say, <coughs> you're wrong. See, Call of Duty wouldn't want you to think that she is not important. They don't want you to think that. They give, they give us three hints. First is her being in a defeated position on all fours looking like she had failed, but she didn't. And she killed a huge zombie boss thingy too, and that's good, but she still looks sad. To add to this part, everyone else has a resentment of joy after they kill the thing. Then she proceeds to have tears on her cheek, which could be of joy, but aren't because you can tell her facial expression. And then she also says directly after the cutscene, I'm sorry, brother, I was too late. This evidence that she, in fact, was looking for her brother and not entirely receiving the pain that they were originally assigned to take. Now, where her brother went, her brother is still very, in fact, alive, and I have pieces of evidence to prove that. First of, first one is he's partially immortal. Now, I say this because, first of all, when he goes into the flame trap, there's no sign of his puddle soup to be vaporized. Then also, the trap wouldn't have produced enough jewels to have vaporized him. Then he wouldn't have survived the fall from the zeppelin to the ocean first first because if he did somehow he would have drowned and second because hitting the ocean once you like fall from a certain height at the ocean it becomes like a concrete ground but except you actually sink into the ground and pretty much he would have broken some bones and been unable to swim and the fact that he was still kind of unconscious without the hilts everyone held then you know he wouldn't have been able to swim away and then even if he fell on the side of the rocks, he would have died. And then if he fell directly onto there, he would have died. And now, um, the hill is what makes him immortal. And if you think it's coincidence, and it, and I 
and I add to this because it's not coincidence that you're not able to pull it out after he dies. Then look at the hardcore easter egg ending. When you receive the hilt, there is a red shining light being put out in the middle. And then the aura of forces, the aura of force around Mary's brother that makes him immortal and invisible to zombies. Now the second part of the science, now the second part of this is science, okay? So like, try to stick with me, okay? Now the amount of joules to require to kill a man or vaporize him is 143 million joules. So this converted to force would be about 1 billion 54, 1 trillion 54 billion 471,387.35 now this is a lot of force for an average human to take but this would have been able to break down so many of your atoms and virtually make you teleportable now the laws of thermodynamics states that energy has to end up somewhere either in the same form or different form so that means no energy energy has to be in a certain form or else you know it wouldn't exist it has to be in a certain form in a better one or because it's like if you already have energy you can put it into the same form or you can recreate it into a different form all right and now the human teleportation says in order to teleport a human every piece of data that a and quote and co every piece of data that a human holds would need to be broken down and transferable and that data makes up and the data that makes up humans are the DNA pairs that form um, genomes in every cell. Now you're asking me, what the fuck does this have to do anything with Mary's brother? And to that, you degenerates, I am getting to. Now, if you take those two statements, you get the answer. He's teleporting somewhere else. This is the most fitting answer because he also doesn't have any sign of his puddle soup that, you know, if he was liquefied... He, you would have seen a puddle soup of his blood, and if you look closely, there isn't any puddle soup, uh, bl bl puddle of his blood as soup. And now, teleporting would also make the most sense because there's no trace of him after he falls into that flame trap, and that flame trap would have been probably able to produce enough pressure to break down all his individual atoms and transfer him somewhere else. And this is where I think Call of Duty World War II Zombies is taking it and trying to throw a hint, is that we are gonna try to get her brother's memories back now i don't know why her brother's memories are all disoriented like she didn't even recognize her like it was something surreal so i uh, hopefully you guys did enjoy remember this is just a theory in the end you know because like there isn't that much of a uh, where this is going next and that type of stuff but i think that's that's where the storyline is going to take us it's going to take us to a point where you are going to try to get his memories back in some shape or form. But hopefully you guys did enjoy. Remember to leave a like, subscribe. And sorry this video took so long. It took me like a week to research everything and get all the goddamn units. But peace.